Here I have four projects with their budget utilization percentages. My utilization formula is pretty simple. It is just dividing the utilized budget by approved budgets. We are going to create some of the progress bars without using any custom visual or SVG codes. So let's do it from the scratch. First of all, click on the modeling tab and select new table. My table name is progress bar. Here, I will generate a series from 0 to 100 with an increment of 1. Next, click on date of view and then click on new column. New column name is axis. In this column, I want the same values in percentage format, so I will divide my value column by 100 and then change the data type to percentage. Before I start creating my visuals, I need to create few small measures. And my first measure is nothing but a constant line. In this example, I will use the line with value 20. If you are confused, then let me start creating the visual in parallel, so that you will understand all the measures. So I have inserted this line chart, and I can add the axis column at x-axis and the constant line measure at y-axis. I will adjust the size of this line chart. My next measure is for the target line, because my first progress bar has a target line. The measure name I can keep as target, and the expression for this measure is like this. If max or selected value of the axis column is equal to 0 0.8, then the value is 20, else it is blank. I use 20 for the target line as well, because I want the pointer at the same position of the line chart, but it should only show at the pointer of 80% in x-axis. Before I show you the trick, let me format this visual and disable some of the not required elements from my line chart. So I have disabled the tooltip, and I will also disable the y-axis, title, and the legend from this visual. If you need them, you can format and keep appropriate names. All right, my next measure is for the progress bar. I will create the measure for this. The expression for this measure is similar to the earlier one. Here I will validate. If the max of the axis column is less or equal to the budget utilization percentage, then it will show value 20. Else it will be blank. Again, I will add this measure at the y-axis of my visual. This time you can see that the line is going till the budget utilization percentage value. And it will change based on the slicer selection for other projects. I will create one more measure for the data point, and then we'll start applying the formatting and the workaround. I will use the same measure here, but for the data point, I only need to show at the utilization percentage point, not for all the points. We are halfway done with the first progress bar, and it is working fine for all the slicer selection. Let me start applying the formatting. First of all, go to the line section, and then assign the appropriate colors for each of these lines. For example, I am using light gray for the constant line. You can select any color, but you need to remember these colors because you will need them at the next step. Before I go to the error bar section, I need to make the stroke as zero because these lines can't be made much wider as I need. So how will I bring those bars then? For that, go to the error bar section and select each of the measures one by one. For this constant line, select the type as by percentage. This is 10% upper and lower. Assign the same light gray color. The width of the bar should be 10. The marker type should be selected as none. You can also fill the border with same color and adjust the size. Repeat the same steps for the budget utilization measure with a different color. Once again, we'll apply the same formatting for the target measure. I have used my target line at 80%, but you can change it based on your requirements. Now let's format the data label. Before that, I will bring the data pointer a little down, which is currently at the center, and then I will change the marker type. Keep in mind that we need to disable the markers for all other measures, and for data point, change the marker type as triangle. If you want, you can increase the marker size. Repeat the process again for the data labels. Enable the background for this data label and format the font color. If you notice, my data label for the utilization percentage is showing 17. But I need to show the budget utilization percentage here. So I will use the custom data label. And I will use my utilization percentage measure for this. With that, we are ready with our first progress bar. Another thing to notice here is, we need to keep the measures in a proper order. Otherwise, the target line may be hidden like this. The target line should be at the front. 
For this second visual, we need to create three different slabs. To save some time, I have already created these three measures as first, second, and third slabs. These slabs are 0 to 30%, 30 to 80%, and 80 to 100%. Remaining formatting is exactly the same as we did earlier. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for many such interesting videos on Power BI. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in the comment box.